pleased to have Don Fisher here from the University of Massachusetts at Amherst to talk about ITS, older drivers, and both the potential and in some cases the peril associated with new technology in the car. So Don, thank you for being with us. Oh, thank you, Joe. It's a real pleasure uh, being here. Uh, I've had the opportunity over the past several years to work on older driver uh, problems. And one of the things we've discovered is that uh, uh, older drivers are unlikely to glance left and right as they enter an intersection. One of our recent studies, both in the field mm -hmm. and in the car, suggests that uh, indeed while all younger drivers look 72% of the time to the left and right, older drivers look only 5% of the time to the left and right. And the reason this is important is because it's angle crashes, crashes at intersections, that are the one crash in which older adults are seriously over-involved. So for the first time, I think we have an understanding of why it is that older adults are over-involved in crashes, and it's because they're not looking. There may be problems of vision, there may be problems with attention, but they're just not looking. If they don't look, they're Maybe going to crash. Stiffness of neck and neck pain. And we have wondered about whether musculoskeletal problems could be a factor in the uh, cause of the older drivers mm -hmm. not looking frequently, and our results suggest that that's not the case. Okay. Um, so it's reasonable as a hypothesis, and our numbers are small enough, so I still entertain it. So I'm still looking at that. Yes. So technology, it seems that it, given the collision warning systems and multiple sensors that are coming out in cars today, that maybe we could have a second set of eyes or maybe even a third set of eyes compensate? One of the really exciting things about the new technology, such as it's being developed, is that indeed it can be the second or third set of eyes uh, to which you refer. In fact, uh, a June 2008 uh, review by um, uh, the Insurance uh, Institute of Highway Safety indicates that forward collision warning systems uh, could prevent some 60 to 70 percent of the uh, angle crashes that are observed among older adults. Uh, so the technology is there to prevent it. However, we still don't know exactly how older adults will respond to those technologies, nor do we know, nor have we actually evaluated those technologies yet. So I guess that brings me to the question when you can talk about the promise of the technology. Any parallels here? Is there, you know, remember there was an article years ago talking about ITS as a double-edged sword for older drivers. Is there a dark side, shall we say? There is a dark side, but I think there's light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, no matter what technology you introduce into the car, you're going to load the driver. But there are many type technologies which require the driver actually to take his or her eyes off the road. And there's increasing evidence, some from our lab, some from other labs around the country and around the world, that you can actually train drivers to uh, make sure they distribute their attention inside the car in a way that's appropriate uh, and safe. So in other words, regardless of the number of technologies we introduce, there is the chance that we could actually begin to train drivers uh, to behave safely uh, with those technologies in the car. We just don't have to rely on the technology itself to be a profile. It seems like lifelong driver education. You can't declare yourself done at age 16 or 17 as these technologies come online. Absolutely. There's no way anyone should think that that's the case, uh, young, old, or in oh, between. In between. Yeah. And I think we're in between. <laughs> I, I, I have to claim to be older, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the University of Massachusetts at Amherst and MIT have been part of the University Transportation Centers program for two plus decades. How has it supported your work? And has it been a valuable partnership? It has been an extraordinarily valuable partnership. We do research in younger older driver behavior. We do, do research in side signals and pavement markings. We do uh, research in vehicle uh, technologies, nomadic devices. Uh, the UTC has been instrumental in funding us in each of those areas. As you may know, the uh, 163 lane miles of the Big Dig were uh, modeled all on the driving simulator at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. It's the first time a civil engineering project uh, that large has ever been uh, modeled beforehand in a virtual world. Uh, the UTC has been instrumental in the funding of our research to understand intelligent transportation systems technologies, and including advanced traveler information uh, systems, including dynamic message signs, so that we can more efficiently and safely move uh, older and younger drivers along the highways. And the UTC has been um, very generous in their funding of our work with novice drivers. Uh, most recently, we've undertaken programs to increase the likelihood uh, that uh, novice drivers were at some six to eight to ten times 
more likely to be in a crash the first six months of uh, driving, uh, undertaken attempts to make sure that they're trained uh, in ways that the older drivers know we think can be trained. So it's been a long, a very good, and uh, I hope a beneficial relation, not only for us, but for the Rollins. for for everyone at, at, in the uh, The UTC is really the platform that provides a collaborative partnership that is between universities, between universities and state government, as you were discussing, but the event that we're having today means that we can bring industry to the table and foundations. The conference has been a wonderful opportunity. I actually got to meet someone locally from the South Shore who is very interested in the older driver training programs uh, we are using and we are, we are developing. And in addition, I got to meet the director of the safety training programs at the AARP, so we may have a chance to uh, show them what uh, we've got going on at, at UMass Amherst. So it's been a wonderful, wonderful conference, John. At its heart, the University Transportation Center's program is a collaborative platform between universities, between universities and state and local governments, but also, like this symposium, we're able to engage industry, engage foundations, and work with each other, providing innovations for safety and mobility tomorrow. Don Fisher, University of Massachusetts, thank you very much. Joe, thank you very much.